Something special is happening at the northeastern edge of Grand Center. On October 1st, the curtain rises on a new theater. This is an exciting development for the theater company that will call it home. Guys, are we too scrunched up there? Are we okay? All right, we'll keep coming down a little bit. The cast of New Line Theater's production of Heathers is doing what's known in the business as a walkthrough. In a nutshell, the actors are finding out how and where to move on stage. Let's really crunch this triangle together. New Line founder and artistic director Scott Miller is opening the company's 25th anniversary season with the regional premiere of this Dark as Night musical comedy about teenage cruelty and murderous revenge. Musical theater is the only kind New Line produces, but don't expect to whistle a happy tune on your way out. New Line shows are characteristically edgy, provocative, and profane. The sound of music, they're not. As I'm fond of saying, Rodgers and Hammerstein are dead. They were awesome, they took us a long way, but we've moved on. So now, can we all just shift it? Heathers, you can step out. Everybody else, just shift it. Don't change anything else, but shift it. The silver anniversary of this nationally recognized company isn't its only milestone. This newly built black box theater on Samuel Shepard Drive in Grand Center is New Line's first permanent home, thanks to the Kranzberg Arts Foundation. I'd been talking to the Kranzbergs for two or three years uh, about space, and I think they were kind of always keeping an eye out for us. Um, and then, boy, I don't know, six, eight months ago, Ken Kranzberg called me and he said, he had a building that he think would, thought would work for us. And I came out to see it and I was like, yeah, this is going to work for us. So they really created this space for what we needed. And other, play, other companies are going to work here, but, but they really create what we needed. And the best part was Rob Lippert, who's our scenic designer, sometimes our lighting designer, is our, also an architect. So the Cranspergs hired him to design our theater. So we kind of got the best of everything. <laughs> Everybody's kind of stunned when they just walk in the lobby because everything's so beautiful and professional looking. And we've always been in these weird kind of quirky spaces, um, which were cool, but this is just really different for us. I've, I've been joking that people are going to walk in and think they're in the wrong theater because it's like so nice for New Line. <laughs> We call this off-grand, you know, we're trying to do more in this particular part of the district. Chris Hansen is director of events at the Kranzberg Arts Center, and he oversaw construction of the Marcel. We very much uh, use New Line's tech needs and requirements as the base for how we built it out and how we uh, retrofitted it with technology. We took 8,000 square foot and made the best use of it so that we could take care of all of our master tenants. Big Muddy Dance Company. We built them a, a, a custom dance studio with a sprung dance floor and um, a wonderful green room and office space. New Line Theater has a brand new black box theater, and STL Up Late also has a brand new black box theater to produce their shows. And we just got a word that our friends Dance St. Louis are going to be joining us here at the Marcel, and they'll be running their uh, nonprofit office space out of here. Grand Center, it's been a project in and of itself as an arts district. What is it like for you to be just a part of this evolution? It's very cool. And, and, and I think Grand Center is going to keep growing and keep adding venues and so forth, which is amazing. I mean, we, we've really got a theater district now, and I think it's going to become even more of a theater district over time.